Last year, this team went 23-1, winning the Bergen County title and the North 1 Group 3 title before getting upset in the Group 3 state final. Although they lose seven seniors to graduation, they still have the same lofty goals year after year. Welcome to Winter North Jersey is Rich Barton, preseason edition. Today we're at Northern Highlands High School visiting the girls' soccer team. Last year they won their first 23 games and were ranked number one in the country before losing in the Group 3 state final to Colts Neck. Today we'll be talking to head coach Tara Madigan, seniors Eva Herm, and Julia Homan about the upcoming season. Northern Highlands rolled through the regular season, winning county and section titles before getting upset by Colts Neck in the Group 3 state final. The Highlanders lost a big senior class, including All-Staters Casey Richards and Morgan Busaka, who only lost two games during their four years. But they do return All-Stater Eva Herm and defender Julia Homan. We lost a significant amount of talent. I think uh, you know anybody that has followed us over the last few years can recognize that. Um, you don't replace that many kids in your starting lineup. You know you hope that you find pieces of the puzzle, but it is a new year. Um, some newcomers, uh, not, not as much veteran experience as we've had the last few years, but we also have seven seniors on this roster, um, many of which have been here for at least two to three years. So we're hoping that they provide that leadership um, and setting the standard for what's expected for some of these underclassmen. You know, and like you said, we had four four senior captains in Julia Holman, Eva. Amy Harris and Claire Nam, who's returning from an ACL injury, um, who've all been here, you know, for three to four years. So we're hoping that they um, can provide that leadership that we just talked about. Coming into preseason, like we realized, like obviously we didn't have our same seniors that we did last year, and it was kind of like we were so close to them. So it was obviously really sad, but we knew like we still have the same expectations, and we were coming in just as fit, and we wanted to like do everything we can to like compete and get to the state title and get every title we can <laughs> yeah definitely a lot of girls have stepped up obviously because the seniors have left and they know that and like everyone's just stepping into a bigger role knowing we have like big shoes to fill so I think everyone kind of like expects that and we don't like let them we don't let them slack off they don't let us slack off I'd say it's more motivation I mean obviously each year has come with a lot of pressure they've said that all like all the other years I feel like people have been like oh you're missing Hannah you're missing like these people so it's a lot of pressure every year I mean it is a lot of people we lost last year but I think it's just more motivation definitely lost a lot of people last year but they're still like the same, like, I guess we're going to have the sophomores are stepping up a lot, like the people like Claudia DiPasupo, Olivia, my sister, is stepping up. Um, like, there's still the same intensity in practice. It's a lot of people to replace on the field, but we still have, like, the similar type goals in mind. And it's the same atmosphere, like, as it always is. <laughs> Claudia DiPasupo coming sophomore year, got some significant minutes for us last year as a freshman. You know, we're hoping that she plays more of a role this year. Um, same thing with Olivia Holman, going to be a sophomore played you know some serious minutes for us last year as a freshman hoping that she steps into a, a more vital role this year coming in. Northern Highlands has a favorable schedule to open the season before facing Ridgewood on the 18th and rival Ramapo on the 24th before closing out the month at Ridge. You know we scheduled Ridge as an independent game we've been trying to make that work for a couple years just so happened to work this year and um, you know I think it's a good test for us prior to going into October and that's kind of what we were looking for when we set the schedule you know, whether it's a win or a loss or a draw, it's at least providing that experience for us going into a county tournament. After further review, I feel the Highlanders are going to go through some growing pains for the first time in a long time. I think between Ridgewood, Ramapo, and Ridge, they're going to lose one of those three games. But come October, I think the depth is going to round into shape. As long as they can stay healthy, I feel this team will win another Bergen County title and get their rematch with Colts Neck in the Group 3 state final. Well. That wraps it up here at Northern Highlands. Log on to NorthJerseySports.com and find out where I'll be next.